previously on A Long Time Coming. Nice job. After leaving the Apostle Islands, we drove east for our last two stops of the summer in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan or, as the locals call it, the UP. By now, I'm sure you've noticed, we have an affinity for experiencing the cuisine of the areas that we travel to. Cornish miners came over to the UP during the golden age of copper and iron mining. And with them, they brought the pasty. <laughs> Known as the Uper, it's an entire meal folded into a delicate, buttery pastry. Oh, wow. Mm. That's comfort food. That was really good. I'm glad we only got two. I was thinking about getting more. Oh, wow. It's a lot of food. about finishing this before we started hiking. We're professionals. Owen and I have started an unintentional tradition of doing a grand adventure for our anniversary. Last year, we flew into the backcountry of Alaska. The year before, we summited Tiwanat in the Tetons. This year, we're celebrating seven years of being married by starting a unique through hike. For the next few days, we'd be hiking the North Country National Scenic Trail, which traces 42 miles along the coast of Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Felt worse.
If you've never been to Michigan, I bet you'd never expect to find this. Intentionally, we set an easy pace for our time in pictured rocks. We planned to spend three and a half days hiking the 42 miles, which made for short-ish days on trail. Because of that, we made it to our beachside camp spot with plenty of time before sundown. And we planned to spend that time right here on the beach. Michigan has been keeping a beautiful secret up here. This is why we travel. To be left dumbstruck by how a place like this could even exist, let alone have it all to ourselves. I couldn't think of a better way to spend our seventh anniversary. We were surprised at how frequently the North Country Trail crossed through campgrounds, parking lots, park monuments, and over major roads. But I gotta say, it was pretty luxurious to be able to fill up on fresh water and periodically dump our trash before disappearing back into the woods. So you may be wondering why we brought our pack rafts for a through hike. Weather permitting, as Lake Superior is known to have a bit of a temper at times, we hope to exchange a section of trail for a paddle in the lake. Owen checked our progress and noted that camp was just four miles down the shore right on the beach. Why walk when you have pristine conditions out on the water and a perfectly good boat on your back? This also gave us the opportunity to test the waters in preparation for our big paddle. Not to be too cliche, but how good is this?
<laughs> kind of feels like we're on a tropical beach. It does feel like we're on a tropical beach. I'm serious. If somebody blindfolded me and brought me here, took the blindfold off, I'd be like, is this Hawaii? Yeah, it's really lovely. Other than the foliage. Yeah, other than the fact that there's like a straight up forest behind us, rainforest. It's a juicy sunset. This is rightfully one of the most famous landmarks in the park. Chapel Rock and its resident white pine tree have been marooned after decades of erosion. After the stone arch collapsed, the 250-year-old tree has been kept alive by its immense root system that spans the gap. Life, uh, finds a way. Thankfully, we had another day of pristine conditions. With one last check of the weather, we decided it was time to take to the water, albeit a few hours later than we had planned. There. 
he is. As we rounded the first corner, all I could say was, Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Are you seeing this? Wow. How is this even real? This is why we had to paddle this section. We felt like we'd be missing out on the best part if we'd stayed on the trail above. The cliff bands are stained a variety of colors, from the mineral deposits seeping through the rock from the forest and terrain above. While in the cave, I could sense something was off with Owen. He confessed he was frustrated with how slow we'd been moving and how far behind schedule we were. I was taken by surprise, realizing how differently we felt in that moment. I said, look around you. We're in a sea cave. This is why we came here. We have to savor this. I didn't want him to miss out on the pure magic of this place because his mind was somewhere else. After a few moments of silence, Owen turned to me and said, yeah, you're right. And just like that, the cloud he'd been under was gone. That is what I admire most about Owen. He's open to changing his mind when presented with a different perspective and I aspire to be more like him in that way. I was gonna say, that was not your best work. <laughs> Heavy. You have a lot of water. Oh, that's what it is.
can't forget our coconut. It's time for the packaroon ceremony. Well, Owen's dubbed it the packaroon ceremony. Okay. Mm. Chocolate mint's where it's at. It tastes like a Girl Scout cookie. It's so good. We woke up to thunder and our last morning on trail. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the goal. We didn't have far to go, so we took our time. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my home. Pictured rocks really took us by surprise. Never in our wildest dreams did we think that we would find tropical looking waters and white sand beaches while hiking in Michigan. For all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know where all in this I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly. Don't. Just goes to show that every nook and cranny in this country has something amazing to offer if you're willing to go out of your way and find it. On the next episode of A Long Time Coming. Hello, Mona. I push back the serious The ends unknown. To get back the life I used to know. Michigan, stop it. You're making me blush. It's a really dicey mission. Shooting film in the middle of the water. I was just admiring this backcountry Cialis commercial. Instead of hot tubs, we have sleeping pads.